I have this dog, name of Clancy, and I like to imagine him writing these letters home to his folks in the bush, describing his adventures in the big city. Like what happened one Christmas day. Dear Mum and Dad, Again, I write from my house in the city. Well, when I say house, I mean dog house, both literally and figuratively. All the talk here is of the great Christmas ham incident. Let me paint the picture. It's Christmas day and there is food everywhere. I am being very restrained. No stealing from plates, no begging, just a dignified patrolling of the outskirts of the group in line with my duties. And if someone offers a slither of sausage, well, it would be rude not to accept. <laughs> but then they start putting away the leftovers. The fridge soon fills up, so man says, let's put the leg of ham in the esky. It's hardly been touched. We'll be able to live on it all next week. He then goes into the kitchen. He's gone for around 40 seconds. The esky is on the ground. He has left the lid open. The ham is sitting there, waving at me. By the time he returns and sees what's happened to the ham, I'm up the far end of the backyard, performing one of my famous performance pieces. It's entitled, Innocent, until proven guilty. Everybody, come over. Can you please come over here? I rush over as well to better understand the accusations I was facing. All the guests were invited by man to examine one end of the ham bone and the large bite that it had suffered. Man then said, Clancy, sit. At which point he kneeled down and gently angled my head so that the outline of my jaw could be appreciated by the crowd. Witness the shape of the bite and witness the shape of Clancy's muzzle. It's true there was a striking resemblance between the two outlines. But luckily, I had friends in the crowd. Circumstantial evidence only, said one guest, Mick, a country solicitor and one of my favourite humans. No jury in Australia, continued this distinguished legal gentleman, would convict on such paltry proof. He was with us at the time, said Claudia. Besides which, he's such a handsome dog. He is so guilty. Not guilty! At the time, man bowed to the group pressure. And who was he to fight the crowd? <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm working on a fresh performance piece. This one is titled, I blame the bloke who left a leg of ham within easy reach of a dog. Best from me, love Clancy. It's Christmas.